Hey guys, what's up? Mimi G here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Today we're going to be doing a sew along to a new macaw pattern, 8367. Now, this is not a learn to sew video, so if you need further instruction, you might want to check out my online sewing classes at sewacademy.com. All right, guys, let's talk fabric. Now, you can make these pants out of a chalet, a ripstop nylon, a crepe, a ramp, basically anything woven, super lightweight, and drapey. You're also gonna need between three and five yards of one inch wide elastic. All right guys, I want you to cut out your pattern pieces, cut out your fabric, interface anything that needs interface, and please, for the love of all things sewing, transfer your markings. All right guys, let's sew. All right guys, so we're gonna start with uh, pattern piece number one and pattern piece number eight. I have the pattern piece here because I wanna point something out. You have a stitching line and a fold line. Please do yourself a favor and mark the entire line on the right side of your fabric because you're gonna need it and it's gonna make it much easier. Along the fold line, I think you can sort of see it. I went ahead and pressed my fold line. Trust me, I've already done the entire other leg <laughs> before filming, so um, this is gonna make it much easier. So mark both your stitching line and your fold line and then turn your fold line and give it a press. Okay, so with right sides together, we're gonna go ahead and join the upper front to the middle front, and you have a notch there. Okay, so I'm gonna pin there. Okay, I want you to grab pattern piece two and nine, which is the upper back and the middle back. Set this aside for just a sec. I'm trying to be efficient, you guys. So you'll notice I did the same thing on the back middle, okay? So don't forget that. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing for your upper and middle back. Align that notch. Okay, now we're gonna take them both to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch these together using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Then you're gonna finish your seam and we're gonna press our seam up. Okay, go ahead and finish your seam allowance. You're gonna go ahead and join your upper back and your middle back the same way. All right guys, so we have our front, upper, middle, and back, upper, and middle sewn together. We're gonna go ahead and work on our pockets. So for your back piece, for your back pocket, your pocket is sort of tall and narrow, okay? And then we have another pocket that we're gonna use for the front, but since we're working on pockets, let's go ahead and knock them all out so that we're already ahead of the game when we get to it. I'm gonna set that aside for just one sec. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fold down right sides facing so that your at your fold line, or in my case, my notches. We're gonna stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. We're gonna stitch, and then we're gonna continue that stitching line so it serves as a guide all the way up. We're gonna do the same thing while we're at it to the front side pocket. This is attached to the middle section, but when we get there, the pocket will be ready. You should also have the same marking. You're also gonna do the same thing. You're gonna fold along that line, and you're gonna do the same stitching line. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing to the other pocket. Okay, so first, I totally messed up because I forgot to tell you to finish off the edge, either by turning in a quarter inch or surging it, but I won't tell anybody if you won't. Um, and you're gonna go ahead and turn this to the right side, poke out your corners, and then you're gonna press using that stitching line as a guide. Once you have it nicely pressed, we're gonna go ahead and top stitch across the top of your pocket. Now let's go ahead and pin our back pocket to our back pant. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and place my pocket. On the back, you should have two little dots that you marked. You're gonna align your pocket there and go ahead and pin it. Okay, let's go ahead and edge stitch down the sides and the bottom of our pocket.
Okay, you're gonna go ahead and stitch down your pocket to the other back piece the same way. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pin our side pockets to our front and our back. So with right sides facing, you're gonna go ahead and place your pocket, align that notch, because you do have a notch there, and pin. You're gonna pin all four pockets. You're gonna pin your other back, and then you're gonna pin your front same exact way. We're gonna stitch this down using 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Okay, go ahead and stitch your other pockets the same exact way. And here's just a quick tip. I am gonna serge the entire side seam before I join these because once you attach the pocket to the other pocket, you won't be able to get to this little section here. So I like to do it ahead of time. Go ahead and do the rest of your pockets. Okay, so I have my front and my back right sides facing and my pockets have been pressed out, okay? We're gonna go ahead and pin now, I'm gonna make sure first that my seam lines match up because I don't want my seam lines to be off. So I'm gonna make sure to pin there first. Okay, now you can go ahead and continue pinning. I'm gonna pin where I need to stop. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and stitch our pockets together. So we're gonna go ahead and start at the top. We're gonna to stitch to our first dot, back stitch and break your thread. Then we're gonna start at the next dot, leaving an opening for your hand. And then we're gonna continue down the rest of our side seam. Okay, let's go ahead and close out our pocket. Again, we're using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, now go ahead and finish your seam allowance on the pocket. You're gonna stitch your other side seams and pocket the same way. Okay, so I have my front and back opened out and I went ahead and pressed my pocket to the front and I basted the very top. Okay, so you can see my pocket is basted at the top. Now we're gonna go ahead and press this seam open. You're gonna make a little cut into your back seam allowance so that you can go ahead, open this out and give it a good press. Okay, if you're doing the asymmetrical pocket, then this is where you're gonna place it. If you don't want this pocket in flap, then just skip ahead. Um, you're gonna grab that other pocket that we stitched. It's the much wider one. And you have two dots here, so that's where you're gonna place it. I also like to place the dots where my corners are gonna be. It just helps me. Okay, let's go ahead and pin. Also just wanna make sure there you have four, you should have four dots here. The upper dots are for your flap. So make sure that your corners are on the bottom ones, okay, and not the top ones. Now we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna edge stitch this the same way we did our back pocket. All right, so we have our pocket attached. Let's set this aside and work on our flap. With right sides facing, we're gonna go ahead and pin these together. You should have one interfaced, one knot. Okay, let's head to the sewing machine. We're gonna stitch this together using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and trim your seam allowance, cut into your corners, and turn this over and give it a good press. Okay, so I have my pocket flap, press, turn right side out. Now, it doesn't tell you to do this in the instructions, but I love a good uh, top stitch, so I did go ahead and top stitch my pocket flap 3 eighths of an inch. Now, you're gonna go ahead and with right sides facing, you're gonna go ahead and place it at those other set of dots that you have and pin. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and stitch this down. Okay, so the seam allowance is 5 eighths of an inch. I like a large sort of pronounced flap, so I'm gonna stitch mine down at 3 eighths of an inch. So you decide if you want the 5 eighths or the 3 eighths. If you went ahead and did 5 eighths of an inch, go ahead and trim your seam allowance down to 3 eighths. Now we're gonna top stitch, I'm top stitching 3 eighths of an inch from the fold.
Okay, you're gonna do the other pocket flap the same way. Okay, so with right sides facing, we're gonna go ahead and stitch together our inseam. Now you have a seam here, right? So you wanna make sure and pin there so you can align those seam lines. Okay, so head over to your sewing machine. You're just gonna stitch this down using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and then go ahead and finish your seam allowance with a serge or zigzag. Okay, so you should have both your pant legs sewn up. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach the bottom. So first let's join our bottom pieces together. This is the lower front and the lower back of our pant leg. So first we're gonna join them at the side. You have notches, so make sure that you pin there. Okay guys, go ahead to your sewing machine. You're just gonna stitch these together using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so I have my bottom of my pant leg. We're gonna go ahead and attach this to the pant. So you're gonna leave this wrong side out and your pants are right side out. You're just gonna slip your pant leg in. You have a single notch for the front. You have a double notch for the back. So make sure that you pin there. Go ahead and pin your side seams, match up those seam lines. Then you also wanna match up your back notches. Okay, you're gonna pin the other one to the other pant leg the same way. You're gonna go ahead and stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance all the way around. Okay, so I've gone ahead and attached the lower part to my pant leg. And now remember I mentioned having that fold line crease already, it's gonna make it much easier because we're gonna create that little flap, okay? So the way you're gonna do it is you're gonna go ahead and along your crease, which you've already done, you're gonna go ahead and pin. All I'm doing is folding along the crease that I already made. And I'm gonna pin it in place so that when I go ahead and stitch it, it's gonna be much, much easier. Okay, so. Now you're just gonna use your stitching line that you should have marked to stitch all the way around, okay? You're only stitching between this flap that we've now created. Now that's what it tells you to do in the pattern instructions, but I already did my other one and I found it much easier and a little neater for me to stitch in the ditch, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm stitching sort of just here in the, um, st stitching in the ditch just to keep it uh, really nice and neat. But you're not gonna see any of this anyway because then we're gonna turn this down. Okay, now you're gonna go ahead and press our flap down towards the bottom of our pan. Okay, so now we have this really cute little flap right here. We're gonna go ahead and join our front and back along the crotch. So I'm gonna keep one of my pant legs turned right side out and I have my other pant leg turned wrong side out. I'm gonna go ahead and slip the one that's right side out into my other one so that way right sides will be facing. I'm gonna make sure that I align our inseams and pin You have three notches for the back of your pant leg. Make sure and you pin there. And the two notches for the front. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and stitch our crotch together. So you're gonna start at one side. We're gonna stitch going through and pass our inseam and then up the other side using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, go ahead and finish off your seam allowance. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and work on our casing and I will tell you now that I messed up. <laughs> you know, you get on autopilot and you just start sewing and then you're like, oh my gosh, I was supposed to show this. Okay, so casing is uh, casing pieces are right sides facing and we have two short ends. You're gonna go ahead and stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, joining both your short ends. Now on one side, you should have seen that you have some dots. So I have my dots here. I'm not sure if you guys can see them, but they are there. You're gonna go ahead and stitch from the top to the first dot, break your stitch. Then you're gonna stitch between the two small dots that you have here. We're leaving openings because we need to insert our elastic. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and stitch from the top to our first dot 
and back stitch. Now you'll notice that I'm using a much smaller seam allowance. You should be using 5 eighths of an inch. But like I said, I got ahead of myself, sewed this, surged, um, and then realized I had not filmed this part yet. So. Okay, now I'm gonna move down and I'm gonna stitch just between my two dots. Okay, so now that I have these little stitches in between my dots, leaving openings for our elastic, you can go ahead and stitch the entire side of the other side. Okay, so I have gone ahead and folded my casing in half, and on the inside, you should see that you have these little openings that we created to insert our elastic. So on the other side, I have roughly transferred my stitching lines and you're just gonna go ahead and follow your stitching line all the way around your casing. We're gonna first create our casing lines, then attach the waistband to our pants, then insert our elastic. So go ahead and create your stitching lines all the way around your waistband. Okay, I've already created one row of stitching. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones. And again, I'm just following my marking all the way around. You're just gonna continue doing this until all three stitching lines are done. All right, now that we have our casings done, we can go ahead and pin our waistband to our pants right sides facing. Remember that your openings sh should be on the wrong side. And I'm gonna pin first at my side seam. You also have some notches that are helpful. Okay guys, now that it's completely pinned, you're just gonna stitch this down using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance all the way around and then finish off your seam allowance. Okay, so you're gonna cut four pieces of elastic and I'm gonna use this really big safety pin and we're gonna use those openings that we left on the inside to start inserting our elastic. You're going to sift this all the way around till it comes out the other end and try to make sure that your elastic doesn't twist. Okay, you're going to pull your elastic out through the same opening. And you want to go ahead and overlap these I'm overlapping by a half inch because that's what I gave myself plus my waist measurement. And you're gonna zigzag these closed. You're gonna insert your elastic and do the same thing another three times. All right guys, so now that all of our elastic is in, um, I always like to put my hands in and sort of pull. It just sort of, I don't know, relaxes the elastic and it distributes all the gathers evenly. Now all you need to do is you can slip stitch this close by hand. And the very last thing for you to do is try on the pants, make sure that you like the length, and then you're going to finish the hem. Once you do that, you are all done. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this so long. Please make sure and follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're not already, at Mimi G Style. I cannot wait to see all of your makes. Until next time, peace.